Well, it was a rough night last night. To get some rest, I hope. Hopefully, you and <laughs> It was a marathon day. evening. Just sort of crashed down. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. It was a long night for so many. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, and folks still trying to clean up the buzz of chainsaws. Some of the wind speeds that came through yesterday: 70 miles per hour mm. in Lebanon. I mean, near hurricane force in some spots. And thankfully, it's gone. We got through it without significant injuries, so we're going to call that a victory. And it's sunny, right? That's the best part about the weather: is if you wait long enough. It'll change. 71 is where we sit in Columbia. Sunshine, blue skies. It is a picture perfect day. Acme Feed and Seed always with the best shot of Broadway here. Nice spring afternoon. That's part of what caused the active weather yesterday. It's spring and winter still kind of arm wrestling to see who's in charge right now. I had to show you satellite and radar because there's nothing on it. There was a whole lot, a whole lot of colors on this thing yesterday as those storms came through. They're gone. We're looking at a quiet night tonight. Now behind that cold front, the wind is still coming in from the northwest, so it's got a little bit of a chill to it, especially when you compare it to the heat yesterday ahead of the storms. Yesterday we topped out at 85 degrees. That was fuel as those storms came in. Now that we've got some cooler air coming back in, it's kind of on the cool side of spring. Still comfortable, not a big wintry wallop here, but a noticeable change. About 20 degrees cooler right now than it was this time yesterday. 60s are where we sit, low 60s for areas east. Couple spots touching 70. All in all, it's an easy spring day, which we needed because yesterday was not an easy spring day. Tonight, we're going to dip down in the low 40s. Possible some spots outside the city, higher elevations, might briefly dip into the upper 30s, but most of us should stay in the low 40s. Good Friday, still looks good. 75, but by late Friday night, we're going to have some more rain and storms coming in. This may impact late Friday night plans. Let me show it to you. Wind changes direction tomorrow, so we warm back up into the 70s. Partly cloudy skies, easy afternoon. Nothing to worry about Friday. It'll be a little breezy, but nothing like yesterday. Late tomorrow night, we're talking after 9 o'clock, some showers and storms are going to start to work in from the west. We're not expecting severe weather from this, but if you had late night plans, it's something to keep in mind. Most of this is in and out by daybreak on Saturday. So as we head into the weekend, we are going to have daily rain chances both Saturday and Sunday, but it's not going to rain all day long Saturday and Sunday kind of on and off depending on where you are. So as far as any Easter plans, outdoor plans, weekend plans, whatever your priorities are this weekend, you want to make sure that you're aware that some showers and storms may put those on pause briefly but it shouldn't wash you out entirely. Some flexibility with any Easter egg hunts may help too as you head towards Sunday. Temperatures staying pretty mild, 60s and 70s as we head towards next week. Stay with us, lots more on News Channel 5 at 4.